Independence, want to know how the Cavaliers are faring tonight at Quicken Loans Arena in Game 4 of the Eastern Conference Finals. It's not a foolproof method, but watch how the non-bronze are performing. In pulling within 2-1 in the best of seven series with a resounding 116-86 victory Saturday night, the Cavs got 89 points from players not named LeBron James, with five individuals, Kyle Korver, 14, Kevin Love, 13, George Hill, 13, Jr. Smith, 11, and Tristan Thompson, 10, joining the four-time league MVP in double figures in scoring. If you look at any box score throughout the postseason or throughout the regular season, if you're able to get four, five, six guys in double figures, most of the time that team is going to win. James said after scoring 27 points on a remarkably efficient 8 for 12 shooting night. You look at the shot chart, me with 12 and Kev with 12, G Hill with 11 and even Jordan Clarkson, his 18 minutes throwing up 11 attempts as well, is just well balanced. Obviously, every game doesn't work out that way. We can sit up here and say, why doesn't it happen like that every game, but it's just not how the game works every game. But Game 3 was good ingredients of that, for us to be able to get everybody involved. In Cleveland's 108-83 loss in Game 1, non bronze scored 68 points. Only Love, 17, Rodney Hood, 11, who is now totally out of the rotation, and Clarkson, 10, joined James, 15, in double figures as Cleveland shot point three six zero from the field, 31 for 86. In dropping game 2, 107, 94, only Love, 22, and Corver, 11, joined James, 42, with 10 or more points as non-bronze scored just 52 on 21 for 51 shooting, point four one two. Then, after averaging 88.5 points over the first two games, the Cavs exploded for 116 in Game 3, with non-bronze going 29 for 64 from the floor, .453, including 14 for 31 on three-pointers, .452. The production started immediately, as Hill, who had just eight points and eight shot attempts over the first two games, poured in 11 first-quarter points as the Cavs raced to a 32-17 lead. Smith, who was scoreless in Game 2 and entered Saturday 2 for 16 from the field and 0 for 7 on 3-pointers in the series, also joined in the fun by making 3 of 4 from deep, while Corver's 14 points came on 5 for 5 shooting, including 4 for 4 from beyond the arc. It's very important for our guards to be aggressive, James said, no matter if they are making shots or not, we want them to be aggressive. It just keeps the defense at bay. It allows me and Kevin to have more open lanes as well when those guys are being aggressive looking for their shots. You saw that in G Hill's mindset to start the game. He just had an aggressive mindset that if they're going to slide under his pick and rolls, he is going to shoot it. He gets a swing-swing pass, he's going to shoot it. And the same for JR, we always sit up here and talk about how much pressure me and Kev try to take off our teammates. Those guys took pressure off us in Game 3. Their aggression just settled us in and allowed us to play free. It was reflected in James's offensive usage rate, which was just 23.2% in Game 3, his lowest of the 2018 postseason. By comparison, it was 34.1 in Game 1 versus Boston and 46.7 in Game 2. Factor in great defense with the team-wide contributions on offense and the Cavs improved to 7-1 to when at least four players score in double figures, as opposed to 2-4 to when they've had three or fewer. The lone loss with four double-figure scorers came in Game 1 of the Celtics series, when Hood and Clarkson got there largely because of an inordinate amount of garbage time. It's big for us, Coach Tyrone Lu said Sunday following a light workout. 
when we are playing defense the way we played in game 3 and we are getting out in the open court, everybody's going to touch it. Guys are going to get easy shots. We can get 4, 5, 6 guys in double figures when we're playing that way. The key, of course, is continuing to help James in game 4 tonight, with the backcourt of particular importance. In game 1, Boston's Terry Rozier and Jalen Brown outscored Hill and Smith 31-9. In game 2, it was 41-3. In Game 3, however, it was 24-23 in the Cavs' favor. James, who didn't have to expend nearly the same amount of energy on offense in Game 3, channeled that extra fuel into a great defensive performance. He was largely responsible for holding Brown, who had 23 points in each of the first two games, to 10 on Saturday, including just 2 on 1 for 3 shooting as Cleveland took a 61-41 halftime lead. We know Jalen is a first-quarter player, Lou said. He plays good throughout the game, but he really sets the tone early in that first quarter, so we wanted to do a good job on him. I thought LeBron really did a good job at closing out to him, making him put it on the floor, cutting him off and making him play in a crowd. It was good for us to slow him down that first quarter, because he's been really good in Boston. It will be equally good for the Cavs if the non-Bronze can come anywhere close to matching their Game 3 impact tonight. Cavs notes, Larry Nance settling into latest new role guard awful, Cavaliers struggling starting backcourt of JR. Smith and George Hill know they have to be a lot better to beat Celtics' Jim Ingram, when Cavs try hard, they can make it look easy back in business, Cavaliers dominate Celtics from start to finish in Game 3 George Hill gets aggressive from beginning, helps Cavs turn things around in Game 3 Cavaliers hope to rise up by speeding up against the Celtics' Cavaliers not panicking, but need to get better. Past Jim Ingram, playing hard doesn't seem to be a priority for the Cavs right now. Celtics beat Cavaliers 107-94 in Game 2 of Eastern Conference Final Book Playoffs. LeBron James stunned after collision, but returns and finishes with 42 points in triple-double Tristan Thompson to the rescue. Cavaliers center might get start tonight in Game 2, has history of success. Against Al Horford Celtics 108, Cavaliers 83, LeBron James struggles, ugly game 1 defeat video, heading to Boston, Cavaliers expecting a tough foe and a tough crowd Cavaliers commentary, without Kyrie Irving in the lineup for either team, series lacks a serious ego in some drama book playoffs, Cavaliers and Celtics are familiar foes with different looks this year. Except for the constant brilliance of LeBron James in book playoffs, Boston's Marcus Morris takes on challenge of guarding LeBron James, helps hold him to playoff low 15 points Cavs Cleveland, Boston overcame obstacles to meet again in Eastern. Conference Finals The NBA's Final Four, Cavs, Celtics, Warriors, Rockets and book playoffs, Celtics hold off Sixers, advance to meet Cavs, Eastern Conference Finals start Sunday afternoon Cavaliers complete the sweep to advance to the Eastern Conference Finals.